My name is Lorena Ramirez. I work in a Gateway Hospital. It's a mental disorder facility, and I'm here to apply to become an American citizen. Here as a union member, I want to be involved in helping others to make it better for our jobs, better health, better pay. I want to be the voice for those that are voiceless, that can't vote. You know, I have decided to make this country my country. I'm here, my kids are here, so in my heart, this country is my country. You know, I have adopted it in my heart as my country because it's my kids' country. You know, my son is serving in the military. He's giving his life for this country. I chose to be here and I chose to embrace it. You know, that's me, that to be in the front. And those are my girls. We are in the convention center and ready to become a U.S. citizen. So I'm excited about that. Finally, my dreams is coming true. And once I'm exit, I can say, now I have a big voice. Let me use this voice for something. It's been a long process for her getting that uh, citizenship because of the limitations and especially even after um, getting married and having kids it just wasn't a priority to my dad her husband at the time you know just kind of put it, putting it to the side and just saying like you don't need it you know she definitely can advocate for a lot of people that are too scared to do it because i think it does encourage all of us as females together to actually be very involved in the campaigning going on as well. We're like, oh, we don't have to vote. It doesn't matter. All of this that happened really encouraged me to go be up to date with what's going on. We have a voice as to what happens in America. Today marks a very special day in your life. You've traveled a long path to get here. You've sworn a solemn oath to this country and now have all the rights of citizenship. With the privilege of citizenship, though, come great responsibilities. And so I ask that you use your freedoms and your talents to contribute to the good of our nation and the world. Always remember that in America, no dream is impossible. Like the millions of immigrants who have come before you, you have the opportunity to enrich this country through your contributions to civic society, business, culture, and your community. You know, I'm proud of my daughters being here. Um, I'm proud of the union. Just being involved with union, it just gives me, you know, um, uh, you can call it courage or you can call it like uh, a desire to be involved in, in how to help my community. So my poll station here and I'm ready to vote for the first time and I am excited. The candidate that I was looking for, you know, someone that will support us as a, for me as a union member, you know, that will help workers in every workplace, you know, even with the wages that we've been fighting for, you know, something that will help us in that area to help us all, our kids, our children. That's the reason we vote and that's the reason we needed leadership. We believe that we can win, yes! <laughs> Today we are uh, here this morning to encourage them to come out and vote 
this uh, coming elections on November. That's the only reason, that's the only way we can just fight together to accomplish, you know, what we are fighting for. Just the power to have a voice, you know, it's something that I think just, I'm not afraid to talk, I'm not afraid to, to speak up my mind, what I believe or what, what, what I stand for, you know, so together with our community, it makes me stronger, you know, to have that voice to fight, you know, even if you think nobody will hurt you, they do, especially if you get together with others that think the same, that want the same, that desire the same, we can do it, we can accomplish many.